All right, guys, a little disclaimer before I start the video. Um, this channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purposes only. So on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install FC Ultra GX uh, with capabilities of using Game Genie and Cheats. Um, I've made up a folder with all the files that you're going to need. So you got to go over to my page, uh, scroll down until you find the wallpaper of the video go to the download link uh, this is going to be a zip file so you're going to have to unzip it using 7-zip or WinRAR now I'm going to show you what the folder is going to include so here's the folder so it's going to have an apps folder with Wemaw Lite and FCEUGX and then it's going to have an FCEUGX folder. Uh, so this is where you're going to put your ROMs. Uh, cheats go in the cheats folder. Right here. And then for the WADs folder, you're going to have the NES WAD. Now, I'm not going to be providing any links to the uh, Game Genie codes or the cheats. But if you do a simple uh, Google search, you'll be able to find it easily. Uh, so for today's example, I'm going to be using Super Mario Bros. 3. So that's basically it for the setup of the SD card. Um, now we're going to get on the Wii. I'm going to show you how to install the emulator and the channel forwarder and a little bit of gameplay with the cheats. All right, guys, now over on the Wii. First, we're going to install the channel using Wii Mod Lite. So we're going to start it up. So go down to the WAD manager, press A, press A on the WSD slot, go down to your WADs folder, press A, uh, find your NES WAD, press A, and then press A to install. Uh, this should only take a few seconds, it's not that big of a file. Press A to continue. Press B, and then press Home. Now you should have the FCEU Ultra uh, GX channel. So there it is. So we're going to start it up. Press Start. Uh, so for this example, I'm going to be using Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, so first, I'm going to show you how you use the uh, Game Genie. So you got to go over to Settings. Uh, go over to the Game Genie tab. Make sure it's turned on by pressing A. Now go back. Start up the game. It'll take you right into the Game Genie's uh, main menu. So now we're going to put in two codes. So for today's example, uh, one is going to be Infinity Lives, and the other one is going to be Start on World 8. So I'm going to be putting those two uh, codes in. So the first code for Infinity Lives is S L X. P L O V S. So that's the first code. Now for the second code, start on world eight. Uh, y. 
EU. And Z. U. G. A. A. Once you have the codes that you want, just press the plus button. Just start up the game. Now we should be able to start on World 8. So there you go. So it worked out with the Game Genie code. Uh, now for the lives. I'm just going to uh, show you a little bit of gameplay. See if the lives stay the same. So there you go. The lives are still at 4. Do it one more time. So there you go. Uh, so that's basically how you install the Game Genie codes. Uh, now I'm going to show you the cheats method. So we're going to go home, main menu, OK. Uh, we're going to just load up the game again. First, we got to take out the Game Genie, off, go back. Now we're just going to load up the game again. Uh, press the home button. Go to the game settings. Go to cheats. Now you're going to have all these cheats. Uh, whatever ones you want to have on, just select from off to on. So I'm going to pick to start on world two. So just go to on, go back, go back. You're gonna have to reset the game. Okay, it starts the game back up. Now when you start the game, you should start at world two. So there you go, it starts on world two. Press home, main menu, okay, exit, takes us back to the uh, main menu of the Wii. Um, so I will leave the link to the folder in my pinned comment. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.